hello friends welcome back to the polymer project video tutorial today we're gonna talk about the drop down uh, element in a polymer project in my earlier videos uh, we have seen the drop down menu how we can create a drop down menu uh, if you want to see that just let me start that okay this is the example of a drop down menu right okay now uh, today i'm gonna uh, we are uh, creating a simple drop down how we can use the paper drop down element in polymer project okay here i have created a very simple example for that uh, here first of all i have implemented the uh, normal web component js uh, coming from the our components as well as i need a uh, core collapsible, core icons, paper icon button and paper items ok these are the files which I need while creating the uh, different scenarios of a paper dash drop down and the most important file that is a paper dash drop down dot html ok here I have uh, implemented some css which is very easy like uh, for the section I have given the padding and for the divs and the uh, uh, X trigger that is my element. I'm gonna talk about this later in this video tutorial. And as I have already told you, whenever you are going to use uh, or uh, giving the CSS to the uh, layered div, then you have to use the slash deep slash. Otherwise, you cannot assign a CSS to your dialogues or your uh, pop ups. Right? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna talk on this section later first let me told you what is the starting point okay this is our first section which I'm gonna talk about right now okay here I have created a simple template and it's a, it's a auto binding okay right now this is no need to discuss here I have created a simple new element totally new element that is X dash trigger icon is equals to menu paper dash drop down which is our element coming from the paper dash drop down okay after that I have assigned a simple first and second two rows for the paper dash drop down okay but you're gonna uh, have a question that what is x dash trigger and uh, where from it comes okay so to x dash trigger which is which is the custom element which is created just above okay from the polymer dash element to polymer dash element this is the custom uh, created uh, element okay today I'm gonna show you how you can create a custom element okay here is a polymer dash element is a predefined tag the name you have to assign that is the x dash trigger which is extends from paper dash icon dash button right this is comes from the uh, this is the link from where it inherits all the features in the current element okay relative is just for uh, layout purpose on tap whenever anyone clicks on this the toggle will execute toggle like functions okay knowing that means the uh, it will become a flat okay here is my template with the no shadow and content okay which is a blank here I have created a simple script polymer toggle toggle that means this one is the toggle okay function and I have uh, just said that if the drop down if this has the drop down then drop down will get uh, it will go for paper dash drop down element and uh, it will get toggled right now if you know, notice here I have used the X trigger which comes from here right and after that I have assigned a menu icon and I am using the paper dash drop down okay just explain over here paper dash drop down okay this is the element and I have assigned a two values in it so whenever I clicked on X trigger that means when I click on tap the toggle toggle will get executed that means 
the toggle get drop down that means actually we are displaying this point this section on a view okay now when i click on this i'll get this two points okay and if i gonna change that to one more like this b o w t o m bottom okay okay now i'm clicking on this i'm getting the three options right guys okay and this is the same for all this just i uh, we have changed the uh, alignment comes from the css we align is equals to bottom right same for the h align horizontal align is all right okay this is the different slightly different okay here we have created a simple paper drop down with a class no padding and in it i am using a paper dash item which comes from paper dash item file right so it will create a proper designing to your menu like this right item 1 item 2 item 3 you can make selected just like a, a menu option in android if you know the top of the right corner right this is the first sections it's a very simple creating a template or you can also create your own custom tag and you can also use it in your project as well okay coming to the next point this is the layered section okay first of all we need to create a, a toggle core collapsible layer that's why we need to use first uh, core collapsible dot html file okay after that here i have created a simple button which i have given a toggle for my collapsible element and the collapsible element is at just bottom core collapse id is a collapse x trigger that means we are again using this x trigger element over here and i am creating a same thing again here that means when i click on the button the toggle will expand that means it will expand this and i'm going to show a simple menu first okay now i'm going to click on this button i'll show the menu after that on i click that then option will get show right guys now uh, it's a for scrolling and merging it's a very simple as i already told you that uh, the template of a repeat attribute uh if you notice i have a countries collections of uh, array object okay uh template is auto binding and the scope dot countries i have assigned all the names to my array object right now i'm going to create a simple template i'm going to create a simple template uh and which i'm just repeating the all elements with the help of br tag that means on every uh element it will break to the next line now i'm clicking on this i'm getting a whole a big drop down over here okay suppose i'm going to uh, change this drop down just like this so what should i do so i have to use the structure first okay window c uh it's going to replicate this all the stuff right dev and again this i'm going to remove all the stuffs over here let's check what happens and uh, here i'm going to use the name and uh, just replace this with and uh, i think it will create a some little bit issues because the whole div will get replicated right it's a working fine right you can select properly same way the x trigger icons menu class with the margins here we have assigned the margins also okay if you 
click this it will be the margin okay and uh, at last it's a custom section uh, you can create you can specify the top as according to your CSS right click just find it on in CSS it's a get top 38 pixel margin okay that means you can specify according to you guys okay uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial if you have any comments or suggestions you can send it to web at gmail.com or uh, if you want to know more about the polymer project you can visit my uh, video tutorial channel that is uh, youtube.com slash web boostings slash web boostings here you can get all my polymer project video details right as a playlist you can get all at a one place for free you can also go on my website that is infologs.in here uh, I have uploaded all my tutorials and uh, projects and as well as with the videos okay on a different different sections so I hope you guys will enjoy this websites and uh, my videos thank you so much for watching bye bye